Hey, Gavin. This is your super exciting introduction to being an online meeting here. I don't know why I needed to go into my marker voice, but I did. I set up Eventbrite events for these first two events. And you can see they have links inside them, and they also have this cool tickets, tickets button that shows even when the list is collapsed. And if I click on this, it'll take me to, over to Eventbrite to the event, which, ooh, pretty. I didn't put the tickets on sale yet because I wanted to make sure that you had this happy. Um, but here we are, and you could buy tickets if the tickets were on sale. Alrighty, so if I go into edit an event, uh, let me show you what I did. So first of all, under event cost and tickets, there's a tickets URL, and I posted in there um, the URL that uh, Eventbrite gave me. And then I also made, if we look down here, I made a click here to buy tickets on Eventbrite, and I used the link, that, uh, link they gave me, and I also embedded a ticket buying uh, widget which you can use to buy tickets right in the website. I don't know if you want to do both or either of those or just have that ticket link to keep it simple. Um, the ticket link that happens because you have a URL on the ticket URL, um, up to you. If you don't want these things down here, you can remove them. I recommend keeping this. Um, alrighty, let's go over to Eventbrite. So here, once you log into Eventbrite, if you go to Manage Events, here's the two different kinds of events that I set up. And um, so if we go in to edit them, uh, this is the Hawaii one, and I just, I gave it, uh, I called it Gavin Harrison Teaching so that people could find it by searching for you. Uh, I put the times, I set it to Hawaii Standard Time. You can set an event image. I used the image from the website. I copied the introduction for the description of the event. You may want to customize this part. I'm not sure. Um, then I created tickets. I created 100 at the regular price, 5 at the discount price, and 5 at the donation price. You can, of course, just click in and adjust those. Um, I set it to be public so that people can find it on Eventbrite. Otherwise, you'd have that you could only be found by them linking from your website. Um, I set it to a seminar or talk, religion, spirituality, Buddhism. You can, of course, customize that. Um, yeah. So the other important thing, if we go to manage, is the confirmation website and the confirmation email. So we go here to order confirmation on the left. And I put the same message in both places, but you they can be different. This is the order confirmation page on the website that will come up, and I just use the text that you sent. The other uh, down here is the email they will receive. I figured based on, you know, repetition is good, so it might not be a bad thing. Um, and they get this for all types of tickets. And this is where you would uh, you can go into Zoom, schedule the meeting, it'll have its own unique link, and you can paste that link here and save it uh, when you're ready. One of the things that you'll want to do is get links for an event. So if I go in from the Manage Events, if I go into Managing the Event, if I go to the bottom, it says Promote Your Event. You can set up integration and publish it on Facebook. I totally recommend you do that. It just asks you to log into Facebook and pick which page. And I can't do that because Facebook is our Nazis about who you are on Facebook. Um, but here we have the website integration and this is the exciting thing. So first of all, if you just want the ticket link, this is the ticket link. So this is the thing that we would copy and paste into the ticket URL, the ticket URL in WordPress. If you just want to use that little ticket button that comes up, the one that comes up here, and you don't want these things in the event, that's all you have to do. If you do want these things that are in the event, um, you want to go to website integration, and you'll go to ticket form, and this gives you the embedded form to publish 
uh, to, to allow people to buy tickets right inside the event. You can copy all this, copy it, and then go into the text tab and paste it. And this is what gets pasted in here, this text here. And then I made a link with, uh, the way I made this link is, um, one of the other options on the website integration is text link. And that just makes it really easy um, to copy the text and it gives you the link to the tickets there again. And you can just copy this and I pasted it in here and then I changed the text to say, click here to buy tickets on Eventbrite. Okay, so hopefully that was clear, clearer than mud. <laughs> um, the last thing is if you go into managing an event, so say you want to do the next the next Hawaii group and you've done some customizations and it's all cool. And but obviously you don't want to have to enter all that again. So you can go here to manage the event. And you, there's a button here which is copy. And you click the copy button and it says, okay, I'm making a copy. What do you want the copy to be called? And you can name it. And then I say copy event. And you may want to put the date in there or you may want to just have it be the same name. Um, and then you want to make sure obviously to go in and customize uh, the dates and the time. And that's, that's all there is to it. Uh, I hope that's useful.